The overall velocity of a projectile can be resolved into vertical and horizontal components using sine and cos, where the vertical component V subscript Y equals V sine theta, and Vx, the horizontal component, equals V cos theta. Vector components can be combined using Pythagoras and trigonometry, so that the overall velocity is going to be made up out of the vertical and horizontal components such that v squared is going to be equal to v squared x, the x velocity in meters per second, plus v squared y, the y velocity in meters per second. Theta, the angle to the horizontal of the projectile, is going to be equal to tan to the minus 1 inverse tan of vy over vx. Motion in one direction. The equations of motion for objects undergoing a constant acceleration in a straight line are used in modified form to calculate projectile motion. These are V equals U plus AT, where V is final velocity in meters per second, U is initial velocity in meters per second, a is acceleration in meters per second squared, and t is time in seconds. S equals ut plus a half at squared, where s is displacement in meters, u is initial velocity, t is time, and a is acceleration, and v squared equals u squared plus 2as. The velocity in the x direction is constant, ignoring air resistance. Therefore, v squared x equals u squared x plus 2a subscript x delta x, where delta x is displacement in meters in the x direction, u subscript x is the initial x velocity in meters per second, v subscript x is the final x velocity in meters per second, and t is time. As a equals 0, v squared x equals u squared x. Therefore, v subscript x equals u subscript x. Final velocity equals the initial velocity. Delta x equals u subscript x t plus a half a subscript x t squared. Where, as before, delta x is displacement in the x direction in meters, u subscript x is the initial x velocity in meters per second, v subscript x is the final x velocity in meters per second, and a is acceleration in meters per second squared. t is time in seconds. As acceleration in the x direction equals zero, delta x equals u subscript x times t. As a equals zero, the term a half a subscript x t squared is going to be equal to zero. Therefore, delta x, the displacement in the x direction, is going to be simply equal to u subscript x times t, which is the initial x velocity multiplied by the flight time. So displacement equals velocity times time. In the y, or vertical direction, there is a constant acceleration due to gravity of approximately 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth downwards, and that will of course be different on different planets and the Moon. Therefore, V subscript Y equals U subscript Y plus A subscript Y T, where U subscript Y is the initial Y velocity in meters per second, V subscript Y is the final y velocity in meters per second. A subscript y is the acceleration in the y direction in meters per second squared. And t is time. This can be rewritten in terms of gravity as v subscript y equals u subscript y minus gt, where g is acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. And it is given a negative sign as it is in the minus y direction. Velocity in the y direction. V subscript y squared equals u subscript y squared plus 
to a subscript y delta y where delta y is y displacement in meters u subscript y is initial y velocity in meters per second v subscript y is the final y velocity in meters per second a subscript y is the acceleration in the y direction and t is time in seconds delta y displacement in the y direction is equal to u subscript y t plus one half a subscript y t squared delta y the y displacement it's the difference between the final and the initial elevation if the final elevation is lower than the initial elevation delta y is going to be negative so in the diagram you can see that the launch height is higher than the landing height therefore delta y is going to be negative in the second diagram you can see that if the projectile is launched from a lower elevation than the elevation at which it lands the delta y is going to be positive so if a projectile is fired from a greater height than the landing height of the projectile delta y will be negative if the projectile is fired from a lower height than its landing height delta y is going to be positive summary the velocity in the x direction is constant ignoring air resistance therefore v squared x equals u squared x or v subscript x equals u subscript x where u subscript x is the initial x velocity and v subscript x is the final x velocity delta x equals u subscript x t where delta x is the x displacement in meters and t is the time of flight in seconds in the y or vertical direction there is a constant acceleration due to gravity of approximately 9.8 meters per second squared on earth therefore v subscript y velocity in the y direction equals u subscript y initial velocity in the y direction plus a subscript y t also v subscript y squared equals u subscript y squared plus 2a subscript y delta y where v subscript y is the final y velocity in meters per second u subscript y is the initial y velocity in meters per second a subscript y is the acceleration in the y direction in meters per second squared and delta y is the y displacement in meters also delta y y displacement equals u subscript y t plus a half a subscript y t squared where delta y is the y displacement in meters u subscript y is the initial y velocity in meters per second t is time in seconds and a subscript y is the acceleration in the y direction in meters per second squared thank you for watching